1995 football season at Kansas State University was one that produced the most wins in Manhattan in 85 years. It was one that saw this football team from Kansas State in the season ranked in the top 10 for the first time ever after a blowout 54 to 21 Holiday Bowl win over Colorado State. It was a season that showed why Kansas State has become one of the nation's elite football programs, joining just four other schools to win at least nine games in each of the last three years. And it was a season that showed that Bill Snyder, Kansas State University's head coach, was one of the brightest coaching minds ever to lead a football team onto the field. Yes, 1995 was truly a memorable season in the quest to become a champion. Coming off back-to-back -back bowl seasons and upper division finishes in the Big 8 Conference, Kansas State opened the 95 campaign with high expectations. And the Purple certainly didn't disappoint in front of 35,000 Purple fans at KSU Stadium. After falling behind 7-0 early against the Temple Owls, K-State's defense stiffened, and the Pote Purple offense got rolling, scoring on its next five possessions. One of those scores came on a pass from quarterback Matt Miller to white out Kevin Lockett on a 15-yard scoring strike, something K-State fans would become very accustomed to and seeing during the 95 season. First and 10, Kansas State has the ball at the Temple 15, 17-7 Cats, back to throw Miller, fade route near side, looking for Lockett at the goal line, acrobatic catch, touchdown, near the deep left pylon, Lockett does it again! Kansas State scored the only touchdown in the second half on this diving reception by Tyson Schwager on a pass from Matt Miller. Miller to throw, two-step drop, quick slant over the middle, touchdown, Tyson Schwager, Kansas State! Excellent throw by Miller, threading the needle. Kansas State's on the board first in the second half. The Wildcat defense was dominant throughout, holding Temple to just 49 yards rushing and 270 yards in total offense. Kansas State rolled over Temple 34-7, its sixth straight season opening victory. Week two saw the Wildcats hit the road, traveling to Cincinnati, Ohio, to battle the Bearcats of the University of Cincinnati. Kansas State gave up the UC, a 67-yard scoring pass on the second play from scrimmage. K-State fell behind in the game, 14 to nothing. Managed just two first downs in the first half. Turned the ball over six times in the game and won the game. Why? Because Kansas State was resilient. The scrappy Wildcat defense survived seven first-half Bearcat drives that started in Cat territory, and yet K-State gave up just the 14 points. But that set the stage for a miraculous fourth-quarter comeback as the resilient Wildcats finally gained the lead with less than five minutes to play on the game clock. Third down and seven. Football at the 28 of Cincinnati out of the shotgun. Miller. Here comes the blitz once again. Miller's throwing for the end zone, looking for Lockett. Lockett and makes a diving catch! Touchdown, Kevin Lockett! Five yards deep in the end zone, he burned Jermaine Tread. Kansas State takes the lead for the first time tonight. But Cincinnati would come right back. The Bearcats answered with a six-play, 55-yard drive to take the lead on a 10-yard touchdown pass with under a minute to play. Third down and goal to go at the 10-yard line. 48 seconds left, 17-14, K-State. Bibberts takes the snap, throws a crossing out over the middle of passes. Caught! Touchdown, Cincinnati! Robert Tate catches the pass over the middle, burning. Chuck Marlowe, Cincinnati takes the lead with 44 seconds left to go in the game. But as long as there was time on the clock, Kansas State had a chance. And Matt Miller skillfully engineered a drive that will long be remembered in Wildcat land. To the left side, he is pumping. He is pumping, now holding. He's going to run the football. He's at the 45, gets out of bounds to stop the clock at the 47. He gains six yards, 29 seconds left in the game. Two receivers left, again, one to the right. Out of the shotgun. Cincinnati back in a prevent defense. Miller setting up, throwing a pass, caught by Schweiger at the 40-yard line, trying to get outside, and he is out of bounds to stop the clock at the Cincinnati 31, and only eight seconds remain in the game. First down and 10 for Kansas State at the Cincinnati 31 and a half. Six DBs in there for Cincinnati. Back to throw Miller. Quick pass to the right side, running out of bounds at the 21. Three seconds left to go in the game. Finally, the 
ball game would come down to the last play from scrimmage and the combination of Miller to Lockett. Lockett lines up to the right side. Miller will take the shotgun snap from Jason Johnson. He's back to throw. They roll left. Miller throwing for the end zone. He's looking for Lockett, who makes the catch. Touchdown, K-State on the final play of the game. Kevin Lockett from Matt Miller on the last play of the game. Are you kidding me? Kansas State on the last play of the game finds Kevin Lockett at the right pylon. Kansas State had survived and snatched victory from certain defeat and recorded a 23-21 victory over Cincinnati to move 2-0 on the season. Week three saw Kansas State open a three-game homestand. That would be one of the most dominant in college football history. The Wildcats opened the homestand against, appropriately, the Zips of Akron. The Wildcats rolled the touchdowns on their first five possessions against Akron as Matt Miller set a K-State record by throwing for three touchdown passes in the first quarter, including two to Mitch running and a 24-yarder to Kevin Lockett. Matt Miller sprint out to the right side, turns back left, guns it long, looking for Lockett, he's got it, and is inside the pylon touchdown, Kansas State. All-American cornerback Chris Canty led the Wildcat defense with three interceptions on the day, including this INT that he returned for a touchdown in the third quarter. K-State still with four DBs in the game. Back to throw, here comes the pass rush. McEwen chasing Junko, throws intercepted. Canny, he's at the 10-yard line up the right sideline. Five, touchdown. Chris Canny, his third interception of the evening. This time it's for a touchdown. When it was over, the Kansas State offense had set a school total offensive record with 590 total yards. And K-State had scored the most points since a Cat football team in 1909. The defense was even more dominant as Kansas State improved to 3-0 on the year with a 67-to-zip whipping of the zips of Akron. Week 4 saw another suffocating effort by Kansas State's defense. The Wildcats limited Northern Illinois to just 84 yards of total offense on the day and an incredible four yards passing on the afternoon. The Kansas State offense kicked in full gear in the second 30 minutes after scoring just one touchdown in the first half. And even though the Wildcat offense piled up more than 500 yards of total offense for the second straight week, the story in this game was the outstanding defense that harassed the Huskies all afternoon. There was no safe place for the Huskies. They line up a receiver left in motion. Ralph Strickland from a wing to the right side to the left side. They're going to come on a fake reverse to Strickland to throw Gilbert out of his own end zone. He's hit! And the ball's loose in the end zone. Scramble for the loose ball. K-State trying to get it. So are the Huskies safety. Matt Miller was again sharp as he connected on 19 of 27 passes for 230 yards and three touchdowns. K-State has three wide receivers running. Schweiger and Lockett inside to outside. Lined up to the left side. Out of the shotgun. Here comes the blitz again. Miller fires to a wide open running left hash mark. Touchdown. First down and 10 for Kansas State at the 31 of NIU. Miller throwing long. He's got Lockett wide open. Touchdown, K-State. Right side of the end zone. K-State trying to spread the field. There is movement on the line of scrimmage. There's a fade right near side. Lockett, he makes the catch. Touchdown. When it was all said and done, Kansas State had win number four and its second straight shutout with a 44-0 dogging of the Northern Illinois Huskies. 